It's a long way from Manangrida to the MCG. And for many young Indigenous Australians growing up in remote communities, moving away from home for school or work isn't easy. Language barriers, long distances and family commitments can shorten schooling and careers. Now former AFL star Michael Long is hoping to engage young people in education, using the top end's most popular sport as the hook. Felicity James reports. It's grand final day in Manningreda. The Magpies take on the Lightning and are hoping to break a decades-long premiership drought. 500 kilometres east of Darwin on the northern Arnhem Land coast, Manningreda and its outstations are home to more than 3,000 people. Football and fishing are favourite pastimes. And, and I catch. catch catfish and barrel and shark, stingray, stingray. You catch all those things? Yeah. But these children are not yet sure what they want their future to look like. When you're older, do you want to live in town or you want to live here? Or what do you want to do? Live here. Oh, you and live. get girlfriend, this one. Yeah. <laughs> and him too, and him too. <laughs> These 12 and 13 year olds are among the first group to spend a week at the new Michael Long Learning and Leadership Centre in Darwin, which aims to turn a love of football into a love of learning. Boys and girls from remote communities earn a spot at the camp based on school attendance and behaviour. How come you get to come away all the time? What for? Because I was coming every day to school. At the end of the week, they'll play against a Darwin based team. There are already a few pre game nerves. Yeah, a little bit nervous. Why are you nervous? I'm scared, a little bit scared. For now, the boys are focused on the grand final. The Magpies win by five points. When the students arrive in Darwin, former Essendon Bombers star and the centre's founder, Michael Long, is there to greet them. We want to produce uh, good role models, you know, good citizens, you know, these kids as you know, the next role models coming through their own community. The education program is football themed, but it has larger goals. That's how much you weigh, 46 kilos. And we're talking through healthy body weight, healthy body fat, and then how that relates to the sugar intake. This part here is called the macula, and these are the blood vessels that bring the, the blood to and from the eye. Outside, the boys try to kick a football wearing glasses that mimic the effects of cataracts. So all the soft drink and all the bad food that you put in your body, all right, doesn't just make you fat, okay? It affects your eyes, it affects your ears, all right? And if you do want to play good footy, you can't run around on the footy field when you can't see, can you? There are about 700 students at Manning Greeters School, but overcrowded housing affects their sleep, health and ability to learn. Their AFL remote development manager predicts only 10 students are suited to boarding school. They got some big boys, OK? By the end of the week, game day nerves have vanished. And make sure target in order to go. Sheldon Ali Mason directs the group in Brada, one of 14 languages spoken in Manningrida. The centre wants the students to become leaders in and outside of their communities, much like former AFL players Liam Patrick, Dom Barry and Richard Tambling. These men know the culture shock awaiting some of these teenagers. You know, for an 18 year old to be travelling that far away from family and country and then expected to do all these things, it's just, I guess it's a, it's, oh, it's really hard to explain, but it's, it's like telling someone to lift a 100 kilo dumbbell when they can't lift a 20. Liam Patrick was born in the remote community of Lajamanu and joined the Gold Coast Suns when he was 21. Language was his first barrier. When I rocked up at Suns, my English was really poor, so 
had to do like some sort of tutoring as well. And he wasn't prepared to be racially abused by opposing fans during an AFL match. I got racial abuse twice and it's not fun. It's like going, a knife going through your heart. It's really painful, hurtful there. Yeah. All three have returned to the top end for family and cultural reasons and play for the NT Thunder. Former Melbourne Demon Dom Barry doesn't regret his decision to leave the AFL last year after years away from his mother's country in Central Australia. Because I've seen all my, all my kids are friends that I'd grown up with, all my cousins and stuff, going through men's, men's business, men's initiation and stuff. And they were all doing it out bush, going through that, learning about the culture, getting ahead and stuff. And I felt like I wanted to be a part of that. Along with Michael Long, these men take their role model status seriously, working with young people in their communities. If I turned back the clock, I, I wish I would have done more, you know, put more time in my education. It's all about opportunity, life's about opportunity, and I've been lucky, and um, if we can provide even more opportunities for these kids, I think we're playing our part.